The next example is about um, including an external function and make some dynamic input from an HTML form and then um, perform a rather complicated calculation. We are um, going to create a Fahrenheit Celsius converter. Go back to your Dreamweaver interface and create a brand new PHP HTML page. I'm going to shut those files down here. P file together with an HTML5. Page title would be Fahrenheit to Celsius Water. And um, please save it inside your newly established forms folder, not in the functions, in the forms folder. Save it. Inside forms and the eclectic title F E PHP, also because that rhymes. First of all, we need to take care of the user input. And um, like we did before, is solved by inserting a simple form inside your body section. So this time I'm just typing the tags, a form, action, blank for the moment, and the method is set as post. So that would be the overall form tag. Um, Louisa typed the new file should be saved in functions. Uh, well, you can basically save it anywhere, but um, I suggest you um, save it inside forms dealing more or less primarily with forms. So I'm going to um, make a more elaborate form of a uh, form here. HTML5 set. First, we need an input type text field where we can submit a numeric value. input text oh input type text now you know already that names are very important in order to um, form our post array later on so the name here is temperature And I'm also formatting it with a size, so default size would be six characters. Or I'm adding a label. Label for the field temperature would be temperature, right? 
And then I'm putting this for formatase, for formatting reasons, a paragraph tag. Hit and then HTML, text objects, paragraph. And then I need a submit button. And there I'm going to insert an input type submit. would be capital F Fahrenheit to Celsius. So setting a value that would kind of correspond to a button label Fahrenheit to Celsius. concluding the label. Sound problems? Yeah, probably I should check my microphone settings. So, hope it's better now. Well, um, it's probably problems with the internet connection, I don't know. For action, we are going to set our well known um, HP self method. So I'm including a PHP code block here. It's an echo, so I can also use this shorthand. And uh, then I'm echoing. server as php underscore self. That means we are referring to anything on this page directly. Good. That means created our form, our input section. Right, we can submit a temperature here and we can submit. Now, of course, we need to set up the PHP script, which um, will process this form. So on top of the page, put another code block right on top. The first thing we are going to do in this PHP code block is that we are going to um, to refer to an external file actually holding our function. So require once, sorry, require once, the file called calc.php. This file we need, of course, to um, create. And then we are going to set a default variable 
answer being a default value like well anything pretty hot in here for instance or whatever you like to display This variable answer we are going to include under our form later on when the calculation is performed the answer will contain the result of our um, calculation so right under the form I'm going to add a new paragraph and there I'm going to echo In a shorthand notation the variable answer right so currently well of course require one's fatal error so before we test it we need actually to um, our calculation PHP and that is what we are going to do right now as a next step so make it happen that beside our file f2c.php we've got a blank PHP file I'm erasing all HTML content it well as the required calc dot php it's crucial I'm requiring a file called calculation or calc dot php and I just created this file just a blank php file So, though the file does not contain anything, the should now work and you have your default output here, pretty hot in here or whatever you typed as a default value of your variable answer. Good. Back to the code. the function which actually is converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius so I need to include a PHP code block in my calc.php a hint for you as a comment how the calculation is performed Fahrenheit to Celsius as a comment would correspond to the general formula that would be Celsius is the value of Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 divided with 9 yeah that is a complex calculation right so if you would like to convert any value any Fahrenheit value to Celsius you need to take this value to subtract 32 and then multiply by 5 divided with 9 so that is just um, calculation of Fahrenheit from Celsius and on reverse calculation Celsius to Fahrenheit would be Fahrenheit 
yeah, well, actually the reserve, uh, the, the reverse thing, right? You have nine divided with five, two. So let's start the conversion of temperature. A simple function. So set a function. And I'm going to call this function convert Fahrenheit to Celsius aftac. I have my parameters and the function brackets. I'm submitting an argument here. So we are waiting actually later on for the post array to arrive as temperature. And then right away we can apply our calculation for it inside a new variable called Celsius. Celsius will contain the result of our calculation. Well, I can basically just copy here the part. This is the calculation I need. not with a C. So instead of the general representation F here, I'm actually waiting for the variable temperature to do the trick. Driving temperature value, whatever the user typed into the form, ended as degree Celsius. format the output a bit more nicely. The output. To uh, format the output, I'm going to introduce a new variable. Result is um, well, it should be an echo later on and should state whatever the user typed in is equal to the result in Celsius. So, the variable temperature concatenated with a string actually using an HTML entity, the character for degree, right, making this degree sign later on in our string output. This would be ampersand degree. Oh, no, not geek. So this is creating the degree sign, right? Then blank space right is equal blank space concatenated well with our variable Celsius
concatenated Celsius. So I'm going to insert the HTML entity again, ampersand. G. Yes. Full stop. And the string is concluding here. I just do not want to output any number. I would actually um, format the variable Celsius here in a special way and for doing so I'm actually calling a method, a built-in function it's actually and this built-in function is called number format. This built-in function can format any number in various ways and um, the built-in function number format requires some yeah, first of all what to format and it's our variable Celsius and then just type the following parameters um, the documentation of number format I will give you a link later on so that you can study what's actually happening here it's some parameters in formatting the number output. Comma, separator, as a single quoted string, you could also add a comma here, but I would like to be formatting before the number and then the uh, dot syntax then at the comma as well and add an empty double quoted string. Where you can now really see what those parameters are doing. On, on php.net you find the function number format explained in details. It's merely just a conversion of uh, whatever the user put it inside. You would return the result. messages that you have sound problems from time to time. Sorry for the inconvenience. I don't think that is connected to my microphone here. Um, as I can see from the team viewer interface, my sound input is working as supposed to. Good. So that is basically um, all what we need from our calculation.php, a plain function which is doing a certain or rather complicated calculation and then outputting the um, format and, re and returning well the output basically. All right? So we leave it as it is <clears throat> and then we return to our main file. where we still need to pick up the post array which is generated as soon as a user is pushing the submit button.
to target now as an if condition the button which is pushed by the user. So I'm going to set an if condition. Now we have to set a condition here. We have to tell what to do. My if condition would be, first of all, well, check if the array does exist. So if I have a post array, And if it contains to C, as we have seen in the example before, the submit button also is pushed into the array with its name. So the name of the submit button is F2C, also key sensitive, and I can um, condition, right? So basically this means send button then the variable answer would contain the function we defined in our calc.php, right? Function name was actually this one. Just copying it over. Right. But not now with the variable temperature itself. So also here we actually need to check the post array arriving. And inside the post array, we would check for the value temperature. Right, so we are submitting the value as here from the form. We are including the calc.php, which just basically means that the whole function is integrated into our main file. This function waits arrive. This we are performing right here, right? And storing it in the variable answer if the button is pushed, ring it. Well, let's see if this is working. In a browser, you will get a notice, right? Remember that we uh, were setting our PHP any file to display anything which might be of um, value for us as a feedback. This is just a notice again, so it's not, um, it's not crucial for our script. It just makes us aware that there is an undefined index F2C in our script on line 5 this one here, right? It's of course irritating, but it will not um, a script to perform. So let's see if the conversion is working. New value to Celsius. And suddenly the notice is gone, getting a uh, pretty even calculation. Well, now you get also from the result an idea how the formatation, right, was working from degree Celsius. So this is already a rather complex um, server-side include 
and post array example. Now this concludes also at the same time the second block of uh, our e-learning lessons and like in the first assign like in the first part I have an assignment for you to solve in the meantime and it's of course um, related to those files. First of all I'm going to upload the uh, two files to uh, actually the file box of Dream uh, of Team Viewer. I can directly drag and drop them here. So now you should be able to see um, the F2C and the calculation PHP, which you can use then for the assignment. And in the next step, I'm going to give you your next assignment. So I have to check on the LMS and make it available for you. So now in this course part on the LMS, you should be able to see your e-learning assignment number two. Open the file f2c.php and the related .php file, that means our calculation from the folders forms or work with your own samples. I'm also going to upload them to the LMS in a moment. So then I have two tasks for you. The first one probably demands a bit of, uh, of um, logical thinking. Edit the script in a way that the notice undefined index blah 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 is prevented. And in a second step please implement the reverse routine. I gave you the calculation right from Celsius into Fahrenheit. So you need to um, make some um, additional things to your uh, form. That means include, well not necessarily an input. You need to uh, implement a second button of course which would convert any value in the reverse way. Well, and then I'm looking forward for your file submissions. So, it turned out that I'm right on time, 11.46. So, you have a lunch break. And um, I think, um, well, in my program I stated we are continuing at uh, 12.30. But I think I give you a whole hour to have lunch and to think about this small assignment. You can also eat while you're doing the assignment. That's up to you. So I would say I see you 45 for the last concluding block of this e-learning session today. And there we're starting something really, really, really complicated. So we are not going to uh, uh, we are not going to conclude this here, but we are uh, kind of making the foundations for our lessons tomorrow here. So, thanks and see you at 12.45. Mm -hmm.